Roommates, we went to South Carolina and sat down with former VP and 2020 president candidate Joe Biden. He stepped into the shade room, so you know we had to ask some real questions. Something that became a very big topic of discussion last year in 2019, it was 400 years since slavery had started in the U.S. and people were thinking that, hey, America might give black people reparations. They might run us our coin. I support us going out and doing the study that studies whether or not what is the nature of reparations and whether there should be cash payments, what should happen. But I know in the meantime, rep reparations means repair. You make up for what's happened. We know there's systemic racism in education. We know there's systemic racism in lending. We know there is systemic racism in housing. For example, if on one side of the street over here, it's a white neighborhood and you have a house, the exact same house on the other side, which is black mm -hmm. neighborhood, mm -hmm. same exact house, same condition. Yeah. The one on the black side of the street is going to be valued at less money than the one that's valued on the other side of the street. You live in an African-American neighborhood, your car insurance without any violation, without anything having happened to you, same car in another neighborhood, you're going to pay a higher insurance rate. It's wrong because what it does, how do, how do most working class and middle class people make it? How do they accumulate their wealth? Through their investment in their home. The value goes up in their home. When you deny people the opportunity either to buy homes and or to have homes where you can accumulate wealth by building up a nest egg in that home, you put people at a gigantic disadvantage. Now, that 1994 crime bill that you wrote is being discussed 26 years later because many people believe that it resulted in the incarceration of millions of black and brown people. We just want to know, what was your intention behind that bill and what does criminal justice reform look like for you in 2020? Number one, years ago, that bill, you know who supported it? The Black Caucus. Okay. Every major black city mayor. This is cheap. Every mayor who was uh, African American. It also had the assault weapons ban. I was able to eliminate assault weapons. I'm the only guy that's ever been able to get that done. Thirdly, it also had, you could not have these massive clips where you can put a hundred bullets in one, one, you know, hook it to one gun and you can fire a hundred shots. Nobody needs that. It's, a, it's just done for murder, no other reason. Thirdly, it also contained the Violence Against Women's Act. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wrote. And it was very, very, very important to begin to try to change the culture of how women are treated in America. It had provisions in it. It didn't have increased sentencing in it. What it did have in it, which I strongly opposed to at the time in this big bill, was it had more money for state prisons. Well, I think I put in that bill drug courts, which meant that anybody who's convicted of a crime that has to do with a drug should not be going to prison. They should be going to rehabilitation. 2% of all prisoners behind a bar anywhere are in a state, a county, or a city prison. Not in a federal prison. I, I say this to every community I talk to, no matter what their wealth or their, how poor they are, that it's overwhelming in everybody's interest if someone, while in prison, learns to read, write, add, and subtract, or if they can't do it, learns a trade, when they get out of prison, that everything is wiped clean so that they qualify for Pell Grants, they qualify for federally subsidized housing, they qualify for aid, food assistance, et cetera. Right now, we you know what happens? They get 25 bucks and a bus ticket, and they end up under a bridge. What do you expect to have happen? Black women are three and a half times more likely to die from childbirth-related issues than white women, and 12 times as likely to die in New York City than white women. And we see that this health system is biased against black women. We know it's not just an economic issue because even Serena Williams, beyond. for example, she was in Beverly Hills at Cedar sinai Hospital, and the same thing almost happened to her. She could have lost her life because of a blood clot that was in her lungs. Doctors kind of dismissed her. Is there a specific plan to address these alarming childbirth mortality rates among yes, black women? Yes, there are, number one. So it's early early detection, early health care. In addition to that is once you're in the system that you are in fact having a system where they set up, finally set up in California, where they track, they track the success or failure of dealing with black and white women. And so they go able to go back and say, the reason this is happening is because of boom, because of this, and change it. Now, some of our roommates love weed and they want to know why you don't fully support legalization. When you talk about marijuana, everybody said Biden says it's a gateway drug. I don't think it's a gateway drug. I think we should totally decriminalize the use of marijuana, the possession of marijuana. 
not only decriminalize it, if you have ever been convicted of anything having to do with marijuana possession or use, your record gets wiped clean. And by that I mean, you will legally be able to say if you were arrested and if you were put in prison, that guess what, when they, you do a job application, if you've ever been arrested or in prison, you can legally say no. When I say wiped clean, I mean wiped clean and be entitled to every program that's available to help people move forward. This is where it gets confused. There are some scientists who say it may have an impact on mental health for some people. I don't think we should criminalize it at all, but we should at least study it. Science makes a difference. Now, roomies, regardless of which candidate you want to win the election, just make sure you get out and vote.